Hello everyone and welcome back. In the previous session, we learned the reason behind the associativity property violation and we also observed the solution of it. In this session, we are going to observe the precedence property violation and the solution of it with respect to the context-free grammars. So without any further ado, let's get to learning. Coming to the outcome of today's session, today we will first start off by learning the reason for precedence violation Thereafter, we will observe the solution to it. Now, during the session ambiguity in CFGs, using these production rules, when we try to derive the string id plus id into id, we observed these two different parse trees for the same string. Then again, during the session problems of ambiguity in CFGs, we learned that this parse tree only provides the correct outcome, whereas this one is the incorrect one, as it leads to the precedence property violation. Now, in this tree, we have derived e into e in the lowest level, and the level before that has the addition operation. Now, the multiplication has higher precedence than addition, and since the traversal of the parse tree is done in top to bottom and left to right manner, the yield will obtain the correct outcome if only the operators of higher precedence are derived in the lower levels, which was not the case for this tree. As you can observe, we derived addition operation in the lowest level. This violates the precedence property because as per this one, addition poses higher precedence than multiplication, which in fact is incorrect. So now we will have to modify our production rules in such a way that will enforce the process to only derive this parse tree. So let's proceed. Now the first rule should definitely be E can be rewritten as E plus E. Remember this, we are keeping this rule as the first one because precedence wise, addition is lesser than multiplication and hence, if it has to be, then it should be derived before multiplication. Now, during the previous session, we only observed that the flexibility of expanding the tree in both the ways will lead to associativity property violation. Now, by definition, plus is left associative. So, let's modify the production like this. So, the first rule is now E can be rewritten as E plus T. Now, with this new non-terminal uppercase T, we have ensured that the production rule is left recursive. Now, the second rule should be rephrased in such a way that can only expand the non-terminal uppercase T. Also, we already have taken care of the addition operator. Now, we will have to facilitate the multiplication operator. So, the second rule is T can be rewritten as T into T. Basically, instead of the rule E can be rewritten as E into E, we are rephrasing it as T can be rewritten as T into T. And now due to this organization, from the start symbol E, we can at first derive E plus T and then only from this T, we can derive T into T. So, precedence wise, now multiplication operator can only be derived at the lower level than the addition. Now, the multiplication operator by definition is also left associative. So, clearly, we will have to make sure that this second production rule is a left recursive one. Now, we can do that by rephrasing this rule as T can be rewritten as T into F. Yes, now this is a left recursive one. Now observe, E can be rewritten as either E plus E or E into E or ID. So our modified production rules should also facilitate that. This means from E, we should have the ability to directly derive the multiplication operator. So we should add up a new rule. E can be rewritten as T. And now from this T, we can derive T into F. Now, let's include another rule, that is the third one as F can be rewritten as ID. Now, so that we can derive ID from the start symbol E, we will have to add another rule, that is T can be rewritten as F. Now, finally, the modified production rules are complete, so let's see whether we can derive this string ID plus ID into ID. So, starting from the start symbol E, using the rule E can be rewritten as E plus T, we will derive E plus T. Observe, 
we have derived this plus operator. Now let me show you how we can derive this id. So using this rule, e can be rewritten as t. We can derive t from this e. Then again from t, we can derive f due to the production rule. t can be rewritten as f. Now from this rule, f can be rewritten as id. We can derive id from this f. Now we have derived id and plus. That is this portion. Now we have to derive this portion. So using this production rule, t can be rewritten as t into f. We can derive t into f from this t. Now the format has been obtained. So all we need to derive is the remaining ids. So let's do that. So from this t, we will first derive f because of the production rule t can be rewritten as f and then from both the f's we can derive id's using the production rule f can be rewritten as id now observe the yield id plus id into id observe the production rules closely we eliminated the precedence property violation by defining the levels Basically, using these modified production rules, we can never derive multiplication before addition. So, in this session, we first learned the reason for precedence violation and then we observed the solution to it. Alright people, that will be all for this session. In the next session, we will observe some example problems on associativity and precedence. So, I hope to see you in the next one. Thank you all for watching.